line. So you've got this, uh, this line on your right and this line on your left. And so you hold it with the two lines with your thumb and your index finger. So with this line on your left, you're just going to kind of want to wrap it on top of your three fingers there. So you've got this line on your left and this line on your right. You're going to try to pull this line on your right underneath the line on the left. And then you see there's this little hole there. You're going to try to pull that line on your left through the hole. And that's the first type of knot. Let's do that again. So I wrap it on top of my three fingers and I'm going to pull the right line under the left line and pull the left line through. That's the type of knot that you start with. So let's do it one more time. So I wrap it around like that, pull the right line under the left, and then pull the left line through. I can actually even do that. It doesn't matter what hand you do it with. Let's do it with the right hand. Now I wrap the line under, pull that one under, and there we go. One more time. Wrap the line on top of those three fingers, go and grab this one underneath that line, and pull it through. That is the first type of knot. The second type of knot that you need to know when doing a central line is this type of knot here. So how you start off is you take this line on the left and you spread it out between the, the index finger and the thumb. And then you put that over on top of this line on the right like that. So let's do that again. You grab it right here, you put it over on top, okay? Now this portion on the left right here needs to come up underneath this loop. So how I do that is I bring my index finger underneath, I grab that line and I pull it up through just like that. So let's do that a couple more times so you can see it. So I spread this between my index finger and my thumb, I put it over on top, then I'm going to come over here, grab that line and pull it up through the loop one more time. So I have my line here, put it on top, and I pull it up under through the loop. So if I switch hands, I spread the line between my uh, index finger and my thumb. I put it on top there, and then I just pull it up and underneath. Okay, now let's talk about how we're going to suture in this central line. The very first step is to take your needle and kind of puncture the skin in this manner and then you're going to want to take the needle and go backwards through this little port, this little hole on the side of the central line, okay? And now we're just going to tie this uh, central line down uh, close to the skin. So you're going to have to do it on each side, so you're going to want to give yourself plenty of length on the side of the needle. So I'm holding the needle with my right hand, and then the very first knot is one of these knots like this, and then you can pull it down uh, close to the skin, but not too close to where they're not going to be able to cut the suture line. And then just go ahead and do one more. And then you can go ahead and finish off with one of those knots. And I left enough length on the needle side that I have enough uh, length of suture to do one on this side. So let's do one on this side. There you go. <laughs>